All right. This winter has been horrible. I've only caught one fish so far this year. We're already two months in. One legal catch anyway, the rest were all foul hooked. <laughs> but uh, I'm gonna check out this little hole here. It's usually a lot, of, a lot of activity here, so we'll see. Yeah, I'm still trying to find this winter bite. I mean, it's, it's not, I can't even call it winter anymore. I mean, it's still winter, but it's 80 degrees today. And that's really why it's been so hard to catch, a, catch anything lately is because the, the pressure and the temperature and everything just is constantly changing. It'll be 30 degrees one day, 80 degrees the next. But it warmed up about a week ago. Or no, it's been a few days. But it's been steady the last few days, so there should be something biting today. All right, so my regular size baits are not working. And this one is missing. What the f I had this one rigged up with God. All right, so the full size Sanko is not working. So I'm going to throw out uh, it's not a skinny Sanko. It's actually from Bass Pro Shops, it's their tournament series. But it's a little thin worm, the same size as it looks like a night crawler, but it's the same size as a skinny Sanko. Let's see if those work. I had a uh, little beetle on a jig head that I was going to try. And when I got it to cast out, the beetle was gone. I think, I guess on the way down here, I got snagged on a tree and didn't realize it, it popped off. There we go. Got him. Finally. There we go. Nice little quad. Oh. Oh. Fend me. But. There we go. Finally got a little. It's a little fat one too. Got a little gut on him. Finally got a fish to upload on the YouTube. Off he goes. Well, there we go. It was a nice little quad to start off with there. I haven't had any bites in a while. So, that was a good one. He fought kind of hard. He felt like he was a little bigger than he was. But there between the, there's a pile of rocks over here and then roots on the other side. And they're... The bites I've gotten were probably both from that same fish, but they're on the other side of the rocks between the rocks and the roots. I'm starting to get some bites here. Wasn't getting any activity on the bigger bait, so it was a good idea to downsize, which is apparently the key to fishing the San Antonio River and the creeks and stuff around here is downsizing your bait. Smaller baits catch more fish. Everybody always says bigger bigger bait catches bigger fish, but there has to actually be bigger fish in order to catch them. So. Oh, there we go, we got another one. Thought I was snagged on a rock there for a second. Look how hard this guy is fighting. A little bit bigger. Not bad. There we go. Another little, eh, not too much bigger. About probably, probably about the same size. Hell, it could be the same fish. But there we go. Two already. It's better. It's already the best day I've had all year. Two fish in one day. All right. Well, they're definitely up along the roots. Probably starting to pre-spawn like they're starting to select their beds so they're up in these rocks and in the roots wind is picking up 
It's making it a little bit harder to detect when I get a little bite. Oh, there we go. There's another one. This, oh, this one's fighting harder than any of the others. Oh, this is a nice one. Yeah, this is a big quad. Rinse this one off for a second. Get a picture of this. The bleeding from where it got hooked through the nostril. This is about a one pound, one pound guad, maybe a little more. There we go. I'm gonna get this one released because it's bleeding a little bit. It's not gut hooked or anything like that, but he's bleeding from the hole where he got hooked. Top of the mouth. There she goes, spun around a couple of times. Went into the, top of the pipes. All right, well, there was my first notable fish of the year. That was probably about a 15, 15 inch quad, which is huge. And I'm getting some little nibbles there. Big quad. And it was probably about a pound, a little over a pound, which, I mean, everybody trash talks me all the time saying I catch small fish, but guads don't get very big. So, that's my first notable fish of the year. Nice one. Wow. On the chomper. Yeah. Told you. <laughs> Especially for how shallow it is right there. Yeah. yeah, look at that. That's a little football, man. He's oh, short, yeah. but he's fat. Hell yeah. She is. You gotta wait. Are you right there? Well, I was walking down to this section that I've, I've always looked at, but I've never really tried to get down to, and there's a little trail running down here. But it's really isolated. There's not too many people that come through here. But there is some people up there, up ahead. There's a guy out in the middle of the river walking out there. And there's a couple fishing. There's a girl there fishing too. So I'm going to have to cut it short and go up that way. And then work my way back south. So I don't get too close to those people. Anyway, this is, this is what I got from Bass Pro. But some of the worms are different. They're bigger than the others, which is weird. This one's got air bubbles in it. I don't know if that's intentional or not. Some of these worms are bigger than the others. They're the same length, but I don't know, it's just weird. Oh, oh, come on. I had one eat it off the surface right there, but he didn't get the hook. He got it on the retrieve. I was about to just bring it in. I wasn't even paying attention. Oh man, they are blowing up on top water today. What is going on? Man. I wasn't even, I had too much slack in my line. I couldn't even set the hook on that one. Man, what is going on today? All right, so I've already had two big ones blow up on me out here. And, but the wind is making it really hard to see through the water. I don't know, I just, it's also giving me a lot of slack in the line and I wasn't able to set the hook on them. Am I? Okay, yeah, I'm definitely seeing fish swimming around over there. Got one that time. Come on, stay on. Whoa. Come on. Fighting hard. I thought it was a lot bigger than he really is. Oh, finally. 
Another good quad, man, look at that. I can see some all the way from over there. There we go, got it. Bass Pro <laughs> lures work. This one's not as big as that first one I got earlier, but he fought harder and he's a little heavier, I think. He's not as long. And his mouth is smaller, that's weird. This is probably 13 inches. All right, here we go. Oh. All right, well, I've finally found the winter bite. That's four, four fish today. Where are these fish during the tournaments, man? Uh, I can see a couple of shadows swimming around those rocks over there. That's where I was getting hits. That's where I just caught that one. That's two nice guads today. And two smaller ones. So, let's see if I can keep it up. Greg got another one. Damn, that's a good one. That's a spot. Damn, it's a big spot for the San Antonio River. <laughs> Chomper. Maybe <laughs> feel the weight on that sucker. Yeah, they're all fat right now. Yeah, I got him. And my camera just made noise. I don't know. I thought it turned off, but it's still on. That little quad. Chill, dude. This one's real light color. I have to break off the barb. Hooked him through the nose instead of the lip. There we go. With a decent one. Oh, come on, come on, stay on. Got him that time. Oh, oh! Told you he was gonna slip off because I broke the barb off. See? That's exactly what happened. Good luck. He ain't gonna bite now for a while because I had him hooked. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Are you serious, Greg? <laughs> Maybe there's a school of them coming. Oh, dude, that's a nice one. Look at that. <laughs> I was joking around. I was joking. <laughs> would catch it. <laughs> Damn, that's a big one. Yeah. Get a measurement on it. That was mine, dude. That's not cool. Yeah, so Greg just stole my fish. You let him go in there? Yeah. Instead of letting he, her go to her bed? Yeah, he started going that way and then he turned. Should've just let her go up here. But I couldn't get up. <laughs> <laughs> well, now there definitely is a fish down in that pool. <laughs> I just told you it wasn't going to bite again, and then like in the middle of my sentence... I didn't touch that, I was like... I was like, what the hell? 